Yeah. You have like four. Do you care which one's that's after? Uh, like hit the little field? home thing that's next to control. Do you? There you go. Huh. Do you care? I'm gonna do one uh, Vaporeon and then one Jolteon. Do you care about them after that? No. Oh, nice. I think the game actually crashed. I had it on for too long, probably mm -hmm. is what it was. Uh, so go ahead and hit that button again, and I will reload it. I like how the music was playing without, yeah. like, freaking out, though. That's impressive. <laughs> that ain't good. That process. Steam is not playing anything right now. Steam is not even on. I don't know what you're doing. Steam is dead. <laughs> Why are you here? Who the murderer is for the case. That kind of uh, ruins things. <laughs> Alright, then that little weird button next to control that I can't remember the name of. Yep, sure, we'll go with that. It's a good a name as any. Alright, try it again. I might have had to click on that to join us, Yeah. I got all three of yours decided. Oh, yeah, there's more Eevees out now, aren't there? At the very least, there's probably Umber and Espeon, because they're Gen 2. And then Glaceon and Leafeon was uh, four. four. And that, yeah. Uh, I put one of the names down as Glaceon, and it changed the picture instead of the question mark to Glaceon. Nice. I, I don't know if they have Sylveon yet. I want Leafeon. Oh, Leafy. I put the other one as Umbreon. Do you want Leafeon instead? Uh, do Leafeon instead of Jolteon. Do you like Jolteon? I do like Jolteon, but I got a Jolteon last time. Oh, okay. Leafeon is actually my favorite. That's the thing with me, is it's like, I can't tell out of Leafeon and Glaceon which one I like more. Because mm -hmm. for those, for some reason, those ones are really hard to, you know? Yeah. I like how Glaceon looks, but my predisposition towards hating anything made out of ice, because the skull leans me towards Leafeon as a result. Yeah. It's, I think that's what they've always been. Aesthetically, at least, and I focus more aesthetic than yeah. like, gameplay, so... Aesthetics are really important yeah. to me. Largely, they do well with ice. There's some creepy ones, like Glalie is just straight up creepy. It's the, yeah. All of the evolutions, it makes it hard to determine, because it's like, well, you, I guess it's to make you do more and try and get all of them. Probably. They're all very comparable, but they're all very different. True. Yeah. Also, I think I figured out what that is made of, primarily. If my guess is right, it is a very sweet chili. Because it started getting a little bit spicy towards the center. Yeah, tam tamarind candy is usually pretty warm, or like a little warm. Yeah. So that will be my guess. Do you know which one? It's so crazy how many Pokemon you just forget exist, and then you s but you love them, and yeah. then they'll just bring back in your consciousness. I remember a card that I had that I was just in love with, and it was that one, and I don't remember what generation it was, but it was like... Kind of like the bay, like the bay leaves and stuff, but it was that really tall one that had like the bananas. And the Tropius, legs. yeah. Yeah, I love that guy. Good old banana beard. <laughs> also, we can start whenever. Cool. Okay, so I had my completely baseless, wild ass guess after we ended. <laughs> oh, that's right, because we did that off camera. His guess is the murder for case one, or the murderer rather, is a. Uh... Oh, hey, there's Junko. Her. Her. Asahina. Yes, the uh, swimmer girl. Yep. And I, I was completely uh, wild and not based off anything, and then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, wait a second, maybe it is her. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I remembered that uh, she was stabbed 
with like a kitchen knife. Right. And I remember the only two people we saw in the kitchen were the martial artist and the swimmer. And I don't think the martial artist would do it, but she was kind of acting weird. Yeah. So now I'm like, actually, yeah, that's actually my guess now. I All actually right. think it might be her. I High guess we'll find out. High school thinks it's psychic. I think it's psychic. Oh, Yasuhiro? Yeah. Yeah, fun fact about Yasuhiro. His predictions are accurate up to 20% of the time. Oh, damn. Or Who's if you're in America, up to 30%. Who is that? Hey, what are you doing? Coco. She looked really creepy for some reason. Yeah, she I does She does that. Creepy. She'll only get more creepy the more you play. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Just, just wait. It will get better. I love Toko. She was one of my favorite characters, and outside of Sakura, uh, probably my favorite female character. Yeah. She's goddamn hilarious. She was the reason I was like, I would voice the female characters. Yeah. She was the sole reason, because I cannot wait for some later lines. They're just so damn funny. Yeah. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Well, that's reasonable. My keyboard has like the little ridged, the Wazdies are like ridged. So you can ah, yeah. This is a classic one, so it's only on the home row keys for F and uh, H. What should I do? I love that noise. Rumi? Consciousness has crashed. We started now. Please wait a moment. The boomy.exe has stopped working. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I, I was busy <laughs> listening to the audio. We can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Agreed. I'm behind you? No. Uh huh. Um, What's going on? Yeah, I wonder, dude. Yeah, he's still in dial. Mondo! Huh? Is this really happening? Screw this piece of shit bear! Instead of a shit bird, it's a shit bear. Hi, alleged murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Mm. Or else we're all dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Alright, tornado hair. So you finally noticed. Huh? Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's door. Uh-oh. Well, you're in trouble. I am. She's right! <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Oh, hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. F for just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. What the heck? You expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the truth. Looking everyone's eyes had to. Looking everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. A feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words. You think I did it? Hmm. Need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Yeah, you don't say. Oh, you were hiding back there, Leon. My pal! <laughs> Surely you believe me? <laughs> so, so, we're gonna try and find out who did it? Yeah. I yeah, that's the point. Straight <laughs> mouth. It's your straight back. <laughs> If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then the rest of us face execution. What the heck? That's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? It's so stupid. Yeah, you have to follow it, Mr. Moral. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, let's talk to the unconfirmed detective. Hey. Before we start searching for Psyche's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disrupt the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to. T I don't like having to think anyway. Yeah. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? 
What? Why the hell not? Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you'd do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. What? Screw you! Fine, then I'll stay on. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Two-player co-op base defense with two of them. What's their stats? They're totally OP. Nerd. Please nerf. <laughs> Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Yeah, a little too calm. Too calm. Okay, where's my... Well, okay. That's just the right. picking of our... For anybody wondering out of curiosity prior to the actual murder, I told him during free time to investigate everything for monocoins, so he does not need to do anything hunting for monocoins. We're all good on that front. Gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. Touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but she's, she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Good point. Huh? Hold on. Oh, hold on, on. J just wait a second. She's dead? That means... That means everything that's happened is for real? No, it's not a joke or whatever? It really real? Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! <laughs> Just now accepting that? What a maroon. Are we all done talking? We need to begin an investigation soon. At this point, we should split up and look for clues. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, well, do I really have to say any more? I'd rather you didn't, no. Go and pray for good luck. With that, how do you say it again? Kyoko. Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going, too. And just like that, Kyoko, he was gone before we even realized. Oh, just like Kyoko, he was gone before we even realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, dead. they better not they better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will screw you up. Alright, I still don't feel comfortable saying it on a stream. <laughs> that that's fair. That's fair. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sucker ran off. But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How could we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Saika. What are you implying? <laughs> it was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! D don't come any closer! Are you gonna <laughs> kill me next? This week, maybe. <laughs> Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help it investigate. Wait, why not? I'm not good with <clears throat> blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. It's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Love that face. Alright, I guess I better get going. Well, wait. Don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Ellipses. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've all got it... They've got it all wrong. You have Why to... Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. He Otherwise, at least has will. to understand... It does yeah. look. It does it's look. Not, fishy. It's never yeah. once as he's like, okay, I get it though. He's yeah. just like, how could they think that? It's like, <laughs> it's like he was in your room, dumbass. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone will. Will bear. Execution is execution. Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Don't even gasp. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. 
By the way, if you think the executions are going to be that, like, calm and pretty, I got bad news for you. They're going to be way worse so than that. So the thing is, it's like, worst case scenario, if they all think he did it, they all die. Yeah. He's not going to get killed. He'd get to leave. But at this point, he just doesn't, he doesn't want them to die either. It, well, it's a case of, like, if he gets accused of the murderer, mm -hmm. er, be, of being the murderer, and they're wrong, then everyone except the actual murderer dies. Uh, okay, so he would so die, he too. Yeah. And he's just going to be like, told you. Told you. <laughs> Okay, I just had it mixed up. Okay. But it was a party. Whatever. Can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Investigate. Whoever did it, did it smart. Yeah. Actually, this is a pretty easy trial. Once you start getting evidence, which you'll start getting here, this is basically your tutorial case. Yeah. I think, in my personal opinion, the hardest one to pin down is probably case three in this game. Yeah. Case three is really hard. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Miyazono. Miyazono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. Well, by being stabbed. That's kind of what they just told yeah. you. I like that part. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time you see that, that's basically like a piece of evidence you can use in court. It's like, okay. dang, that one girl's not good with blood, but like... No one's. <laughs> yeah, how is she fine with uh, no Kyoko one's really here? Try, yeah, no one's yeah. really trying to clean the scene. Yeah. Welcome. Well, file number one has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Yeah, this won't really spoil anything, but like after you, if, whenever you finish this chapter, move on to chapter two. Like all the bodies and stuff, all the all of that stuff disappears. It's like they were never there. So it doesn't just stay there. Aren't you going to help investigate, Chihiro? Um. But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I I have to stay with her. Some bad news for you. All right. Meanwhile, he's probably having a uh, <laughs> yeah. an existential crisis. Probably having a great time right now. Uh, <laughs> uh no way! I seriously didn't want to die here. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother of Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Aquaman will save us. <laughs> you know what he makes me think of hmm. with that? It makes me, uh, in The Mummy, that one guy who he just had the different pendants oh, for the different yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Yeah, people will go and find their own evidence, quote-unquote, so, like, how helpful they will be pretty much just depends on the case. Like, there are people that are consistently helpful, and there are people that are consistently useless. Yeah. Hero is one of those people, <laughs> as you could probably guess. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We'll make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. What's Hero's title again? Hero's title is Ultimate Clairvoyant. Uh, I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Ooh, the sword. The camera. No, no, that's not a camera. That's a lint roller. It's a lint roller. <laughs> Looks like a camera. <laughs> Perfect! It Actually, it looks like an upside-down version of the things they used to hold for taking pictures, the little, like, things you'd hold up while you are under the curtain. You see them in, like, old yeah. films all the time. Whatever those are called. There's scratches everywhere. Doesn't look like there's a key. Trash can. Boy, stand the sword was on. Cool. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, not, not everything will give you a truth bullet, but some stuff will. Because the sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. Hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating comes off, has come off the parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of coating. I remember this coating sticks to you even when you're just touched a little bit. Ooh. 
with the sword has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, so who's got gold paint on their hands, basically? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just furiously <laughs> running. Well, I mean, it, it happened at 1.30 at night. They've probably gotten rid of that evidence. That's true. It'd be so great. What of them in the room? It's like, oh, what'd you find? It's like, oh, well, this will be easy. We'll just see who has paint. And it's like, <laughs> so I'm going to use like, the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. So now we have to trade keys. I switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key in her room in the entire time. Wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, this seems impossible. <laughs> Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? The killer was in the room the whole time! This was clearly a suicide. <laughs> Known. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it, or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere, and somebody else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Because it's Between in the damn the room right now. Yeah. Sayaka was in here when she switched room. When we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer... Nice. Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Lint roller. Huh? The lint roller. It looks like there's li way less than there was before. So I can see how dirty my room is and decide to clean up a little bit. Yeah, I doubt it. I discovered. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath. So it's just the sheath left. But, huh? Some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. Maybe like the sword. <coughs> the sword. <laughs> ah, of course. But how the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during a struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack somebody with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off the middle, slide off the middle of a fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Because it was used for self-defense. Yes. Replica sword sheath. It's been added to the end of the screen. Oh, you green things. Oh, you can also get accounts from people as well. If you talk to people, sometimes they'll give you an account. Cool. So you may or may not need those. I'll go ahead and tell you for case one, there's at least one that you need. Okay. You lose it. <laughs> there are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Possibly. <laughs> The <laughs> torn up bed and the, like the scratch all over the floor and the wall didn't give that away. They knocked like, over her shit. He'll you know? pose obvious things like questions, but then not yeah. fully fill in some yeah. of the blanks. Like, was there a struggle in here? It's like looking around at things knocked over. It's like no. I will go ahead and warn you: the people that did this game have done their research on other games, so like they've seen all of Ace Attorney. They've wa like they've yeah. watched all that stuff before. Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If, I'd, if only I'd heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. What? Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Nice. <laughs> nice on. The struggle has been added to the truth bullets. Maybe the same thing, probably. I get that it's nice that you're getting evidence, but at the same time, flashing nice as you're, like, figuring yeah. out a murder. <laughs> it, it's a nice contrast to the serious tone. Okay. The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. It's got a name scratched into it. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, that was their shadows. I was like, what the hell yeah. is that on the... <laughs> yeah. It's got black blood. What were you doing, Sakura? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Alright, and here's somebody who's probably the complete opposite and thinks I did it and is ready to crush my head like a grape. <laughs> By the way. Or a cup of corn. Yep. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. 
Yeah, that's definitely possible. That dirty bastard! You son of a bitch! Anyone who raises their hands to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brothers taught me. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. B but what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yo, oh, geez. no. That'll all get sort of that when it comes to time. When, when time so he doesn't think it, he's not even, going straight to being like even, it was you. Even assholes have standards. Uh, let's look around here first. And check other spots later. To the table. And you are not on a time limit or anything like that, by the way. Um, like, it'll start the trial whenever you plug and everything you need. Okay. Oh, I didn't look at the scratches on the floor. My bad. <laughs> scratches and couches on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Kyo I think they want you to talk to Kyoko. Oh, okay. Hey, Kyoko. Quietly called her name while she was investigating. While she was investigating the area, but what are you doing? Now she's over there. Yeah. Isn't it obvious? No, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of the room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be con concentrating pretty hard on it. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. Hmm. Interesting. interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Is it clean? Like the lint roller! Unusual? What do you mean? I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. Uh, it looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saika or the killer? No, that was yours, but whatever. Really, it works for you, the character. Yeah. That's the question, isn't it? Nice. Can I go in my bathroom now? Ah! I'm assuming it wants me to leave or something now. Uh, I think you're supposed to check your toolkit. It's in one of the drawers. Oh, yeah. That's going to be my guess. I forgot about that. Toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. It is stabbing someone in the eye. Yes, seriously. Oh, Mondo. We ain't exactly in the mood to be building freaking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. Why? Not Why? just me. Nobody's busted it. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added to your truth bullets. Yeah, I think that's all you need in here. Neato. The bathroom. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door. The toilet. <laughs> oh, that too, I guess. Yeah. Ellipses. No. Can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Force myself to push panic button. I stepped down. Force myself to push my panic down. I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her, looking at her, made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, that made her her, Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that, but that thought held me... <clears throat> that thought held me up and supported me. Magic button, tell me what I can look at. <laughs> Aren't you glad that they just had that, like, as a default feature? 
rather than being what they were going to do for it. Shower. What if the shower gets turned off at nighttime? So is there water on the floor? No? Okay. What is that? It's 37! No! That's Lee Everett's age in the first game of The Walking Dead. Lee Everett was behind this. I should have known. Oh, shit. I looked past Sayaka and wanted to... And I looked at... Bleh. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. Words are hard. They are hard. And then I saw... It's Leon upside down. What? Written in blood was the number of gosh. <laughs> really? I could do this. Uh, <laughs> I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but couldn't face the fact that it said Leon. But now there's no time to think about that. Because I just mentioned that they watch other games like Phoenix Wright, so the question is, did she actually write that, or is it a case like in Case 2 uh, where somebody else wrote it yeah. and was trying to pin it on him? I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said around not her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been a killing blow. Must Fatality. have. Fatality. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist was broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on there. On her wrist, too. Right there where her wrist was swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger. But... Bleh, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only the... How come only her finger? Only her left finger? Saika's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, it must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that the killer con the killer cornered her in the bathroom. Where they inflicted the deadly wound. Ellipses. I believe that is all you need from here. Bathroom, yeah. Shoot it out. Leon, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you found it, right, Kato? The bloody numbers that most likely Sayaka's dying message. Bloody numbers. Never seen something written in blood before. It, it really was her final message. As if she wrote it with her life with her life it's life itself. Right. <laughs> you often talk like an aspiring poet. With the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? I have no idea. No. Nope. Not, not a single clue. Yeah, no. So. The way she wrote that number, the way she wrote the numbers, makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning, uh, by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something at position, do you know what the result would be? The result. Well, think about it. You're not gonna tell me. Nakoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, this case will end, and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Why work as a team? Nakiyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Nakoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the uh, Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken. Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? Yeah. Gets stuck? Yeah. I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to your truth bullets. Yeah. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. 
And I do what Kyoko said and shut the door, shut the bathroom door. Slam. Huh? The doorknob. Cool. Let's not follow up on that though. Yeah, you have to actually inspect the doorknob yourself. Well, what the heck? No, it's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. <sighs> Whatever it was, it's obvious that this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would somebody want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Um, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only <coughs> you and Sayaka knew about it. Me? Hmm, interesting. Uh, she had the slightest hint of smirk on her face. I got the sense that she really, that she was really starting to get into all this. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. Uh, I, section, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. Uh, I should start looking into the, in the murder weapon. Might have that might have come from, where the murder weapon might have come from, and also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Uh, maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me after this. Okay, so the reason why, so it was on her left hand, right? That the got blood, broken? The yeah. blood. Yeah, the blood was on her left finger. So she would have to turn to write it. So why would she write it upside down? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like I there's really no. Up. Or is this one of those like weird like? Because it's in, in Japanese, it's left to right, and so that's why it's flipped. I don't know. No, there is some left to right stuff in this game, or some right to left stuff in this game, but it's actually during the trial. Okay. It's a little thing you do at the end of each trial. It's basically like a, a case summary. Okay. So the two areas that you need to go to is one, the kitchen, and two, two Saika's room. There might be additional areas, but those are the two that I'm sure of right now. I'm not going to be using a guide for this. I'm going to go off of my memory. Oops. Right. Yep, just one tab. Right, kitchen's up here, so this is assuming we're fine with the knife's missing. Yep. There's also someone you need to talk to that's around here. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know, though, because they used a screwdriver to open the... try to get the door open. So, that's weird. You know, but who's to say they couldn't have just taken it from your toolkit and put it back? It's true. He did say it looked like it hadn't been opened, though. You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. All this is a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. What kind of snack do you have if you murder someone? <laughs> I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Saika was killed. But I thought it was... Uh, I don't want to talk really? to her again. Yeah, what the hell? She might give you the same So you were she out was. here at 1 in the morning after we were all not supposed to be here? Yeah. Oh, no, she's going to give you the same thing. You can skip through it. Yep. Mm hmm Hmm. That's actually just a fallacy in the game, because remember Monokuma himself actually said the doors to the dining hall were supposed to be locked completely. Oh, yeah. So technically, she shouldn't have been able to get in there at all. It's true. Oh, what a surprise. There's a knife missing. Yeah. Who, who could have seen that coming? Yeah. Well, I better see if anybody here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set had been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hooray! Yeah. Coming that thing in. Back wherever it came from, more so help me. Hey, 
Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Oh. You had stared at the line of knives. <laughs> Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So, you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking tea from the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when somebody came and took it? Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Yay. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? Dude. <laughs> what? Of course not. I would never. Ellipses. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing each other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together? I honestly have no idea. I watch too much TV. Yeah. Dumbo. <laughs> I thought that was Yasuhiro. <laughs> okay, kitchen and where? Uh, her room. Saika's room. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Byakuya's out in the hallway. Oh, there's a couple people out in the hallway, actually. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? This is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to get the, the key. What? Huh? Maybe this is definitely one. my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my door in Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates has been added to truth bullet section of your handbook. I think why? I might, no, I might let you go into Sayaka's room. Why did the little pixel look kind of Scott Pilgrim? I, that's what a I was thinking, bit, yeah. yeah. A little bit. His especially. Yeah, this is definitely not my room. Yeah. <laughs> the pink trash can. And the pink sheets. Yeah. Tell me one thing in the trash can. Trash? Yep. The DVD was like his name on it. Close enough. Psycho like got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder what did she see? It might, be not, it might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyways. Sorry, Sayaka, I need to borrow this DVD. I don't think she cares at this point. Probably not. I'm assuming that was the only thing I needed in here. We'll check in the rooms. Sayaka, no. I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. All I see here is a sewing kit and an organ map. Not useful clues. I guess you could call it the organ trail. Sayaka, no, I can't let myself get distressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. You can go and sniff <laughs> a pillow lighter, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you weirdo! Sayaka. No, okay, I'm <laughs> thinking it's good. I See Sayaka's bathroom door. <laughs> Sayaka. <laughs> she used to go to the bathroom in there. <laughs> like, yeah, in her room. What a surprise. She used to wash her hands in there. She used to use the sink to wash her hands. Alright, Leon, what were you doing? Seems right. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? What's his shirt? Yeah, I know shit. <gasps> it's, I don't know. It's a print. I don't know. That was there before. It's not like uh, new blood or anything. I yeah, know. It just looked... I had noticed it, so it's... Okay. <laughs> He's just got blood all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Something doesn't feel quite right. It's probably the blood on your shirt. Oh, crap. You're right. I should go change. What about you, pervert? <laughs> <laughs> Very strange. Mr. Miyagi, what was Miss Mia's... Miyazono doing in your room. Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? To the trash room! To the trash room! Trash room is huge. Budge must be locked. Looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. I mean, 
Maybe we should find out. Maybe open the door. There's yeah. a studio gate here. No way to get past. It's the end of the line. The trash room. That's where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. I don't know. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning no, duty. No, you can't go any further. No, no, no entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any <laughs> <laughs> I think you get the idea. Hanakumo. <laughs> this is stupid. It'd be faster just to go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further. I think your F key is stuck. <laughs> okay. I need to go rewatch that series. It's so damn funny. I'll just go ahead and tell you who's on trash duty. It's a Fumi. So go talk to him. Okay. He was in the hallway. He was the fat dude. Fatty ginormous. Looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. I could have started by cleaning up the dead body, but... <laughs> And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? No. Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss to the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash, for gate, uh, trash room gate. But that's supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all, the tr all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so you we can throw things on it whatever we want? It does seem more convenient. So in other words, Actually, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's that must be why. If anybody could go out and go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than hey, that. Bastard. Hey fatty, why did you want to clean the duty? Why did you want cleaning duty? I, I love anyway? that image of Leon. It's just so good. Yeah. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? Liar! I know why you did it. You want to dig through the girls' trash looking for you know and poking uh, poking around at it? What are you talking about? All my love is for is 2D. You know what I mean. <laughs> But there's all kinds of trash. There's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll want to get tired of 2D and then turn to. I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to show. Is, the only thing. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Why are we having this conversation? I don't know. Oh, and PVC figures. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? It's not even so more worried about than your beard, Leon. That's true. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, that's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash for disposing of it. <laughs> what? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, another topic. <laughs> Literally any other topic. Fumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but I haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I just was hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. So happy. So, Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. As a side note, that whole, like, we rotate between people once a week for trash duty, that never comes up again after yeah. this case. They even lampshaded if you come back here in, like, chapter four. It's like, weren't we supposed to be rotating this thing? Whatever happened to that? <laughs> so, yeah, that's just for this case. That's funny. You'd like me to open that gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. 
get busy leaving or get busy dying, he said. So, so him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. The fullman pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Ooh. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you are planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along. No. I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and keep looking. Like, I'd love for you to be the murderer and like dispose of something <laughs> while locking eyes with him. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. There might be some kind of glass ball just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, is that? Do you know what this is? They say if you can, if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Gee, I wonder what that's a reference to. Uh, hmm, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on a big city street cover, street oh, no. corner. Uh, gaze into it, and it will show you a glimpse of the future, just like that. Just like that, Mina girl would. Just like that Mina girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. Okay. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular bo ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. So yeah, it's, it's the mystic guy. crystal ball. Mm -hmm, it's crystal ball, so it's heroes. I'd like to think me and Brandon are both doing well with our guesses. Yeah. <laughs> Just being like, they're both suspicious. Set it on the ground in front of the incinerator. Ooh, it looks like a burnt piece of something. Wow, good, good, good deduction there. A burnt piece, like a hunk, like a hunk of burning love. Whoopsies. Anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of a. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, it's definitely blood on the cuff, which means. This is all that's left of some evidence that this killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with button-up shirts. This isn't enough to, by itself to figure out who the killer is. I knew it, it was Taka, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Ultimate moral compass, my ass. Burnt shirt piece it has to be added to the bullets. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. This is an incinerator way in the back part of the trash room. So you're 30 feet from, from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. <laughs> I feel like you would have seen that fire there. well before you got Did there. Did you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be cleaning out the, on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No, you just said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Oh, yes, about that. Oh, yes, about that there can be no mistake. If only... If I've got oh, I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down here to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back in trash rooms since then. And, since I'm the only one with the key to open the, the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Someone fashioned a very large stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what now? This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and the glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What does it all mean, Mr. Miyagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out of one of his comic book fantasies. Can we be done here so I don't have to talk to this guy anymore? I think this is the last thing you have to investigate <laughs> here is to switch. Right, the green button turns it on, the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems anyway. Yeah, that should be it. Alright, go find Hero. Ugh. Don't you just love most of the dialogue being done by guys thus far? Yeah. Of course, it also helps two girls are dead and no guys are dead, so. Yeah. Can I get 
to read everything. Because I'm so good at reading aloud. <laughs> <laughs> All of my uh, high school English classes. Yeah, really how'd you do that? Which yeah. was like a grand total of none of them. Yeah, because I only took one English class in high school and it was one semester and covered four years. Yeah. Hero, you bastard! Hero, can I ask you something? No, 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 I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of hell. I've been, uh, I've had enough. I've gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Here, hmm? Huh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah, that's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the hell? I only brought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What, it was actually just made of glass, not a crystal? Did the guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pill he said belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um let's put that aside for now. So can you say without a doubt this belongs to you? Yeah, it's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it up. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shining Crystal Ball has been updated to Bullet Sucks New Game Book. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, to sure. Whoopsies. Uh, by the way, I'm most. I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? The thing I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. It came out to be like a million? A million? That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah, and the Japanese version would be a million yen, so not quite as bad, but still pretty goddamn stupid. Yeah. So you need the picture of Leon pointing to his head with his tongue sticking out going, stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like, dang, I'd love to make a million in two years. Yeah, really. Okay, so I pull my menu again. Uh, Either 1 or F1. Oh, that's right. For some weird reason, it's those convenient buttons. Yep. Okay. Let me, get my, let me review my truth bullets. File. Evidence of a struggle. Yeah, you can left click on these and it'll give you more info on them. Switching rooms. The toolkit. What was the third room before here? What I have here? Right, it remains unopened and there is no evidence of it ever being used. All the else is. Okay. Video. Yeah, I think that's all you have left that you need to do, is go to the AB room and watch yeah. Psycho's video. So she has to save up the numbers. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you for something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. Shoot out the number 11037. Do you have any idea what that number might mean? Like... Could it be a code or something? I don't know everything about all numbers, man. <laughs> sorry, no. Jihiro slowly shook her head. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyways for trying. Even she didn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? Ellipses. No, couldn't be. She's not smart enough for that. <laughs> Despite being the ultimate programmer, clearly not yeah. that smart. I do think it's interesting. Or kind of little jump of the gun of like, oh, there was numbers. She must know what this is. Yeah. yeah. She's good with numbers. It's like, it has I don't nothing know. to do with code, yeah. but... No. We have no ultimate mathematician. As far as I know, there's not one in the series, but again, I just started watching the third game, so... As far as I know, in the first two games, there's not one. She must know what the number three means. Wait, who's the other one? As long as it's not the number four. In Japan, people avoid the number four because it sounds very similar to the same word that they use for death. Mm. So it's considered an unlucky number. Sensical. Uh, I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. Yep, that DVD. Thanks clarifying. Mm -hmm. Sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. Ground. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then. Maybe he's 
and dresses. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. Standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well, Sayaka. She was there along with her friends. She said she had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. Now she's full of death. My vision started to blur and darken, and then the voice I'd come to despair so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Suddenly, the screen went dark, and the next morning, the oh. next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Saka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figure of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? Even that real even if that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things that this far? Ding dong bing bong. First floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. It's the brown. No. <laughs> Do I die if I go this way? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. So as a side note, I guess I can talk about this. Uh, some of the characters that uh, you don't see their executions for because they're killed or they survive, uh, some of them were actually shown in like a little booklet of stuff they had inside because it was one. And the one they had for her, they had her on stage doing one of those things, like, depending on how well or poor you do during a karaoke, then you'll either go up or down. Mm -hmm. And if it goes down to the bottom, she dies. So she's the ultimate pop singer. She obviously does really good. Mm -hmm. And right before it gets to the clear, Monokuma smashes the machine in a bear trap, like, rips her in half. Wow. Yeah. So that's what they would have done for Saika had she been a murderer, but obviously yeah. she's dead, so. I don't believe they had one planned for Junko, though. You're late, Makoto. We've all been here waiting for you. I saw your sleeve in the incinerator, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you murderer! Yeah, you murder. Hey, don't jump the gun here. <laughs> don't whoa, jump whoa, the whoa, gun whoa. here, lady. Uh, there, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. Don't asshole. jump the gun on this murderer! So they really are convinced I did it, but I didn't do it. Me and Psycho both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The good news is three people know that you're not the murderer. Yeah. You, Psycho, and then the actual person that did it. <laughs> Yay. Uh, the one who murdered Psycho. Is it really one of us? One of us. One of us. <laughs> is everyone here? Will be the trial. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. 
they're not gonna tell you anything worthwhile. If you wanna go and talk to everybody, you can, but you can also just skip and go straight there. Guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Let us begin. Yeah, indeed. Good idea. Ellipses. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. You wouldn't be able to handle the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me what... I didn't need somebody else to tell me to do that. It's Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raise my voice and try to give myself courage. I turned, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when, it's, when, his, when his time finally comes. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Uh. Yo, -ho -ho, you finally arrived! What do you think? Does it feel less like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close. This is total shit! <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seat and sit down. Hurry up now. Hurry up! We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a gigantic circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else, which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. The Akio looks really bored. Yeah. And so the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly decision. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Hooray! But before we start that... You must save. And more importantly, you can set your skills. So any skills that you got from any of the characters, you can now equip them. Yay! But you should have at least one. So yeah, that will tell you how much it uses, and then at the top it'll tell you how many you are currently using out of how many you have total. Yeah. Your standard point statement is destroyed. Cool. So the way that the... You've already seen a little bit of how it works, but the way it works is because there's different types of debates. Like, there's the non-stop one where everybody's talking with each other, and there's a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. Basically, the way I'll do it is uh, I can give you... What I'll do is I'll give you one hint for everything except for non-stop debate, and for that one I'll give you three, mm -hmm. and I can either tell you which bullet you need to use, because later on they give you multiple bullets, I can tell you which bullet to use, which statement to fire at, or both. Okay. But you can only use each one time. Alright. But again, this is case one, so I don't think we're going to have too much difficulty. Yeah. I don't think I need to review the handbook. No, and you can do that during the trial as well. Okay. You ready? All rise for the Honorable Judge Monokuma. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the black end. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand! Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? Objection! What's going on with... the pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died! Uh, yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Hopefully. Even his eyes, uh, uh, 
Interestingly enough, about the little portrait things, they actually do uh, account for players' height. So if someone dies and they're super short, their uh, little thing would be oh, really? lower than everybody else's. They do some really funny stuff with that in the second game, but it would be giving away who dies and why. But let's just say, normally their X is like that, but sometimes they're really funny shit instead. Yeah. Where it's like based on, you know, if they're like the ultimate and whatever, it might change it to something else that looks like an X. Okay, but what about that other NPC? There were only 16 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It was a bit of a little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. That may or may not happen in the second game. Okay, what about does it for the preamble? Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. About to begin the debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. The first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Since progressed during each class trial, you were engaged in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth the lies and contradictions buried within their statements. Uh, what this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during the case investigations will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim and fire with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun! I'll just say it now, I never even came close to running out of time. Okay. They give you like 10 minutes for each one. Each individual one. Evidence of the struggle. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Incredibly wrong. Were you not paying any attention? <laughs> yeah, those are what like the weak spots will look like, but just because it flat like just because it's that color doesn't mean it's necessarily wrong. That just means it is a spot that you can shoot at. If it's completely white text, it's not anything you can interact with. Uh, okay. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looks. With the way things have been going, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Struggle? Between who and who? To be fair, she wasn't, like, at your That's room true. at all. Between Sayaka and the I'm court, just guessing. Right? Yeah. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by the guys in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in. And that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. No. True. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Sorry. What do you mean there was a struggle? To be fair, she didn't look at the scene, like you said. So. Yeah. Okay, so what's this? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow. This is starting to sound like a real trial. Really? I hate you. Kind of so point, much. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, they asked like who's the most popular character. He was last place by a mile. Oh, thank goodness. By he's like a huge mile. He's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. I think it was maybe the knife protruding from her chest. That would be a good guess. Two arguments. Do not look at the scene of crime. It was a hammer. It wasn't a random knife. It was a kitchen knife. No. I do think it was a knife. But not just any knife. I'm almost positive. I think we have to debate it was a knife. Yeah. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, 
We discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Sort of? <laughs> It's you know, huge freaking... if, if you squint really hard. <laughs> yeah. The world's tiniest, longest knife. <laughs> you look real close. So I needle. totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon is a kitchen knife. But where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Asshole! Oh, no. I hung out with you! <laughs> I turn on all of my friends eventually. <laughs> yeah. Self preservation rules today. It really does. She's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Sure. You can concentrate by holding down the space key. Nito. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay close attention to what everyone is saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes focus gauge. If this Blah. if this gauge empties, you can you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will cover over time, so let the brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck. Have fun. Yeah, your focus gauge is the series of stars near the top right. Okay. And there's a cage. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Yeah, see that dropped you from five stars to a little over one. So, Jeez. Yeah, so you can make that with some skills you can make that decrease a lot slower or just add more stars. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Mr. Kinsa, you're not the killer, right? Go ahead. You can say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Tina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Wink wink. <laughs> nudge nudge wink wink. Disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, but she didn't see anyone come in the dining hall and take yeah. the knife, so it could have been anyone. You don't think so? No, she definitely wasn't there. Unless it was her! The exactly! Knife while Tina was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if these idiots Swimmer Girl and even Mikoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? If it's Swimmer Girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice. We'll get to graduate. So, in other words, two people can work together, but yeah, one of them has so. no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rules? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Thank you. Did I say that? <laughs> yeah, he's actually not lying. There is no accomplice for this case. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Tina asked me the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea! But just to be sure, Sakura's me. Right. 
But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Dina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight power. Airtight? Yep. Airtight, as in only us know. Mm -hmm. one of the school's registrations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorm. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our school's room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? Oh, no. Oh, Taka. <laughs> oh, Taka, you poor child. Hey, I'm a girl. You are <laughs> 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 oh man. Wish I was the victim right now. <laughs> Actually, if you need me, I'll be hiding in the corner. Right, Dina. Oh yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. It was you. Why did you say me. so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. Oh, what if the murderer died? <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> Someone who's not here? What are you talking Sayaka. about? Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. I guess the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Had to have been Sayaka. It wasn't Monokuma, obviously. I got it! So they're taking it for self-defense. Correct. I love it. I love it's like, it was me! Wait! <laughs> you can get some pretty funny lines sometimes from picking the incorrect thing, but if you see that little thing where he goes, I got it, then that, that's how you know you got it correct. If you're wrong, it'll take a thing away of health and you just have to answer again. And it'll put a little check mark by ones you've already answered incorrectly. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her, and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Damn it! Damn it, Soto Kaiba. He, he did do it after all. Hey, you! I know, same. <laughs> Do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't you understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, we simply can't declare that he's the killer. Yeah, why would he clean the room if he. Yeah. If he if lived in the room yeah, where there should be his hair? About. Yeah. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? First Hangman's Gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Well, that sounds very... Actually, these are, these are actually pretty damn easy. The Hangman, Hangman Gambit are usually the easiest ones. As things advance further in the class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal the, an important phrase relevant to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Uh, complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters to the right in the right order. Use the mouse to aim. Press left mouse button to shoot and to shoot the desired letters. If you shoot the down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. They forgot one other thing too. Sometimes you have to shoot the letters multiple times. Like the letters actually have health. So if they're at like red health, then you only have to shoot them once. But if they're at yellow, you might have to shoot them two or three times. Something that should have been there, but wasn't. That must be a crucial part. Oh, it'll be like hair. If we can just figure out what something is. Okay, 
Oh crap, I'm sorry. Yes. Or... Oh, in that, in that slot? Yeah. Explosion. Complete. Guess what? There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene. <laughs> See, put the elbow hook on me in, in the shoulder. Yeah. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. no. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Wait, Mikado, was the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? It doesn't make any sense. No, there are other reasons that prove why Mikado couldn't have done it. I would like to hear those reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The killer struggled getting into the bathroom, and the evidence that proves it is... The object the killer broke. It broke my sword! Oh no, not the frame. Jerk! Crap, what? Okay. Oh, you back out of it so it's just like me. No, I, uh. I did the door frame instead of the door handle. Yeah. You lose your little heart. Ah. I got it! Yeah, that's Psyche's ability. You got half of that heart back. Each time you answer one of those questions right, you get half a heart back. Sweet. Same with the ones that it just pulls from a list of three. Yeah. The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob from my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, no, sure. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. So you still don't see? Okay then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Just tell him that there was no lock on it and it was stuck. And yeah. Makoto would know that. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Sure, why not? From here on out, the number of weak, of weak spots will start going up. But no matter how many weak spots, there essentially, there's essentially only one lie, to con one lie or contradiction in the de debate. <clears throat> What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now, this is important because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll only have to rely on your own. You only have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak, weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Also, I like how the characters' avatars, once they start like scrolling like that, eventually they just clip out of existence. If you watch the far right, they just disappear. Yeah. They don't actually like go all the way out of frame. took place in Makoto's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. 
Oh yeah, and if you like run out of all the things, it'll just loop back around again. Like a little thing about Makoto trying to figure out what he's referring to. Because Sayaka had locked it. He used his own skill against him. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walk-in bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But you have such a cruddy door. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay. But then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't mm, lock any of the okay. boys' bathrooms. Mm, a boy would know that. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually, actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was... Crime took place in Sayaka's room. Crime took place in my room. Oh, they didn't know it took place in his room because the nameplates were switched. Correct. Yeah. They thought it was Sayaka's room. The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? Yes. Thank you. You heard of sleepwalking? Now we have sleep murdering. And yet, he is absolutely right. What the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding. I just realized Kyoko's eyes in that shot, like her face portrait, remind me of the Sombra eyes. Oh yeah, they do. A little bit. It yeah. might just be the color or the shape, but Not on that spray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have. Yeah, had most to people break have odd-colored eyes in this game, like him, for example. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they switched rooms? Then Makoto... Ha! That's what I've been trying to okay. tell you. Then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. That seems like a horrible idea. Yeah. Mm. With the stakes involved, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. go for it. Right next to the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. You don't want to sound so <laughs> disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering... Get into Makoto's room in the first place. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. How did you both get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped a key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then maybe someone took the lock? Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in. Mind Yono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? 
because she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way Sayaka let somebody in because... <laughs> Was it just because of switching rooms? Do you, do you actually want help on this one? Because I don't see anything more specific. Yeah, I don't either. Or was it... I was going to say it was this one. I don't see anything else that it could have been. Yeah, right-clicking is present, but left-clicking will give you more detail on each of the truth bullets okay. themselves. Attempted treated room Force. Became frightened. I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, next. Yeah. yeah. Because Sayaka was already scared. There wasn't anything remember? more specific. That's yeah. Why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. That's something that they'll also do in later cases is they'll give you, for like when they give you multiple bullets, they'll start giving you joke answers like, you'll get stuff from like, oh, this is from Junko's account, she's been dead for like three cases. <laughs> or she's like, well, I'm pretty sure it's not that. Yeah. What she's been through, I just can't believe she would open the door for anyone. Her being scared was a lie. Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? What if she tried to kill someone? I know you don't want to consider it. Because it look at this. Also, who would have switched the nameplate? You still yeah. deny the possibility? Like, Amanda's just screaming, just slightly off screen. <laughs> yeah. Piece of shit! Something I want to talk to you about, just the two of us. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Oh, shit. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the <gasps> wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. I knew it was important. <laughs> you were correct. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Or the Walking Dead game. If you make an imprint, sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can do the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on, so no one can find out. Yep. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. Of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. You couldn't have said that. Yeah. No. No, you didn't do it right. <laughs> How you didn't. Of course you didn't. Sayaka wrote it? Why? Why would she write this? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under the door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If she got an invitation like that in the ultimate cop sensation, that man could resist. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Anyone can get that deep low? And honestly, even if they do, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to what? say? <laughs> Very well then. Since so she's one of the few people that actually thinks rationally. Yeah. Switched. They got switched? That's right. 
the nameplate got switched, just like the runes themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's rune actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's rune had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the rune Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her rune. Then, if someone did do what the nerd said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? I don't... Okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only person who knew we had switched rooms. Oh my god! <laughs> you and yourself. And Those are the two people. The only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates is Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her notes. There's something I want to talk to you about, just the two of us. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you switched them? Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. She tried to kill someone in bed. Nothing is anyone. Probably the reason she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sayaka affected your chiller there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Um, we just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. Seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Yeah, how the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt there's glitter on it. <laughs> when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt it's Sayaka's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> glitter! All the glitters is gold. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist. And it should become pretty clear. It was broken. Right here where her yep. wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? As a side note, if your wrist does get broken, it's going to swell up a hell of a lot more than that. Yeah. And there will be glitter. And there will be glitter, yeah. Gold? Pretty You'll bleed sure gold. Is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. Kind of a shitty replica. Yeah, who the hell thought doing that was a good idea? And there's some on her wrist because... It happened in my room. It led to Sayaka's death. That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about non-stopped baits. Would you like to... Oh, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> tell me. Oh, Jeez. It's probably just going to tell you you get more than one bullet now. Will be my guess. Mm. Yep. Starting with the next base, I have multiple truth bullets and truth cylinder. Uh, but like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. Oh, damn it. Yeah. So you could have three, basically you could have three bullets and three, like, flimsy or weak statements, and you need to use one bullet on one statement, and that's the only combination that will work. Okay. Nothing else will. In other words, from here on out, we'll have to combine the right truth bullets and the right, the right weak spot to refute the statement. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage into your influence gauge. You can press the Q key to rotate the cylinder and choose which bullet to fire. Press release the Q, Q key to cylinder cycle through each bullet. 
you can use the mouse. Okay. Yeah, I, use I, the mouse. I prefer wheel. the mouse wheel. Way, <laughs> way easier with the mouse wheel. By the way, uh, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. For our purposes this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Why is it defaulted to mean? That's so mean of them. Replica sword sheath, kitchen knife set, replica sword. Personal sword really did attack first. There's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. Yeah. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword based sneak attack. No, it's wrong. Yeah, why wouldn't you have unsheathed it if you were yeah. trying to attack? With the sword. Because the sword what up? Had been scratched. What up? Oh. Did you see that Mickey? Uh, it's like the newer uh, animated series. It's that he's like running, like he freaks out and runs and just he's trying to say what happened, but it's just Whoa! <laughs> no, I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah. It's something sharp. You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Except okay. to break wrists. Yeah. Just throw the sheath at them. Sayaka the attacked first. The kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? You mean to look at what the kitchen knife is the one who attacked first? I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere, then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her, too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Yeah, I think Sayaka tried to kill someone. Mm -hmm. Like, try and pin it on us. Why? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. <laughs> There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear of her body that shows she never used the sword. If you wanted to use the sword, which part of your body would you <laughs> touch? Her <in>? stomach. <laughs> what? I got it. She operated it with her wrists. <laughs> with her dexterous teeth. <laughs> I'm sure that would taste terrible. Gold glitter just everywhere. It's a good thing this replica's terrible quality. Yeah, really. Could have been an actual good sword. Yeah. That sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. Sounds like all you have to do is look at it too hard. You'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. Who buys this stuff? I don't know. I, like, I have a sword, but it's just a wooden one, and it's certainly not covered in gold glitter. Yeah. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. It's not like she washed her hands. Her hands after she made it safe into the bathroom. So it's Wrong. trying to murder her? <laughs> Check the person whose right. water bill is the highest. No oh, damn it, Toko. <laughs> there's no way Sai could wash the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens at the bathrooms at nighttime. 
more than the one that makes sense here. Yeah. She's afraid of water at night time. Why is all water shut off? According to the monitor. Like, no one uses the bathroom at night? There actually is, there's a character in the second game that is afraid of swimming in the ocean because they fall asleep just at random and they're afraid that they'll fall asleep while swimming and drown. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. It's like, okay, then just don't go out to the deep water, I guess, but jeez. In other words, at night time, and the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time, right? Yes. Just everyone, ew! Yeah, for the record, they've been in here for like over three days. Yeah. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Huh? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. What? I'm pretty sure it's an insult. Yeah. So anyway, the science had never touched the sword. And that means the killer was the only one who used the sword. But hold up. That's what? And the one who damaged the who damaged the sheath with would have to be the one without the sword. Sayaka. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No. Almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, <laughs> then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. To be fair, her video was like she, knife, banned attack yeah. she pr seemed very, very desperate and shocked. Yeah. These are all the actions of the saints. Which brings up another point. Magically, Sayaka was the one who was <laughs> the one who was the one <laughs> Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That seems a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? So we had something. That would also explain why she would switch the main place. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little... She could have just switched them back afterwards. For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. It's right. She was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? That's right, Brandon. Who are you more likely to believe? Me or Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably not a good example. Strange, she had this all planned out. Holy shit. But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on. That, that can't be true, because... Not even being super boring. Like, I think this is more interesting. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. <laughs> you might want to think again. Yeah. Nothing. 
dying message. I don't think it was Leon, though. Bam! Break. So who do you think it is currently? I don't know. <laughs> still think it's Hina or somebody else? Mm, I still maybe kind of think it's Hina. But I don't know who she would invite to her room. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, the dining message, yes. If you ever die, write in lowercase letters. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the update they made to Microsoft Word? They changed it from like a font, whatever you call it. Like you have sans and serif, they changed it to a sans serif. Oh, really? Like the ones where the uppercase I and lowercase L look exactly the same. Uh, I was like, why did they do that? Uh, Can you really be sure somebody that just needs to make like a really good font and just call it Ah, uh, so that way alphabetically it'll be the first one that pops up <laughs> instead of Ariel or Ariel yeah. or whatever is on there. There's no question, it's like I wrote the message. I can prove it. Left index finger. I got it. One day Comic Sans will come to save us all. Could only be because she used that finger to write the message. It's true. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree a sigh of relief. It's true. What the heck do those numbers mean? Hey, Jahiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You You're a nerd. You must know. Yeah. What's the letter seven mean? I <laughs> think she's just tired of it. It's like, really? Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh! Yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? You know, it's just... I'll look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Oh, you're right. The connecting line is yeah, if you can't see that connecting line, you need new glasses. <laughs> or just glasses in general. Looking at it now, you can also read it as an N. No, 37. <laughs> Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. Jeez, <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> I know, he's great. He's just there. He sees it. I don't think this is important. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not important. No, I no. heard her say it was her favorite number. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Damn it. I'm no use. I just don't know. It's like, I know you're a high schooler, but how can you be this stupid? No. <laughs> it's clearly elite spelling of something. Uh, huh? If only she'd written elite. Rotate it? I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god, now I see she wrote down the killer's name. Right? Yours, Toko. <laughs> that clearly says Toko. So his dying message revealed the killer's name. If you turn the image 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. Select someone. Oh, I didn't Decide want who the murderer is. I want it to be Leon. I like Leon. <laughs> <laughs> in a space. <laughs> is he really right next to me? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> like two over. Nah, Hifumi is the guy next to you. Unfortunately. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was totally was him. Rotate the writing 180 degrees. He would have been able to swing the sword hard enough to break her wrist. Well, that oh, said, yeah. that said, sometimes they will have you select a person, and it will not be the killer. <laughs> you kind of have to gauge on how far you are in the the trial part of the case. Uh, but sometimes they'll have you select a person like almost immediately, and of course it's probably not going to be that person. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letter L. Oh, why'd she write it like O N L E O N, or more accurately, Leon? It's a shame there's nothing for. <laughs> I suspect you. <laughs> Coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, 
It's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning mm, up yeah. against it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something pretty like her, and the letters will be inverted. Yeah, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. I kind of feel bad because he doesn't seem like a premeditated killer. Yeah. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? <laughs> you broke my crystal ball! <laughs> I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? How'd he get into the incinerator? Yeah, after that. But is one slap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white So are you! Underneath that link jacket thing, you can kind of see it. That's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah. That crystal ball. That remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention in order to figure out who is responsible, when it was disposed of, where it was disposed of, how it was disposed of. I say where. Damn it. Well, you're talking about the trash from the scenario, right? How the fuck's that supposed to make anything clear? There's <laughs> some sort of everyone. As if you couldn't just be like, well, he wasn't supposed to be in that area. Yeah. Yeah. When it was dis okay, I guess when. Because of the No, nope. no. <laughs> God damn it. It is how. What they're thinking is like how would he have gotten past the Oh, see I was thinking that as to where how would he have gotten there? Yeah, how would it have gotten to the location? Yeah. yeah, and then how would he have turned it on at that time? God damn it. You know, it's Bruce time striving. Shoot. 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 It's still not as funny as Hajime's. Damn it! <laughs> that one's just so much better. I got it. We got half oh, of it. You got it now? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, oh, great. Yeah. I be able to Guys, I swear I know what this thing is. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You'd need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it was you, fatty. I should have known. That's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one clean on cleaning duty. That's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. What? What? What's your argument? Shattered crystal ball. Oh! Oh, I get it now! Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Well, the only one who could get to the incinerator was in charge of the trash? Nope. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy Oh, he threw it. No, it's wrong. Break. And I'm about to break. Hold on. <laughs> I think I know how I've been listening to that CD recently. <laughs> it makes it even worse. The trash room key. It's no Meteora, but Hyper Theory is still pretty good. Yeah. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you use this. What is this? Some kind of glass ball? 
You could have just kept your mouth shut, hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's this? this? Mm-hmm. It's I, not important. I don't know whose it is, but it's clearly a crystal ball, right, guys? <laughs> they prayed to the spirits in the ball to turn on the incinerator. Yeah. Go ahead to use Divide the with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch. It's probably just an issue with the art style, but there's no way that crystal ball could have actually gone through that grating. It was yeah. mu- there was not enough of a gap between those bars. Unless someone turned on the incinerator, very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the book of the fairy. Oh, he knew fairies. Leon is a fairy. <laughs> Leon is a fairy. I should have known it was you. Was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? All you have to do is you should have done so many baseball things. Actually hide inside the trash can. The shards of broken glass. The incinerator left running. The piece of shirt that escaped the fire? If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? But just like Captain Crew needs to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could only have been done. Could someone really do that? that that's right, there's no way. It'd be impossible. Oh, really, Mr. Ultimate Baseball Player? Yeah. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... Wouldn't be much of a challenge at all after the killer because... The ultimate clairvoyant! Yeah. <laughs> I got it. He can divine it to just float because across. The is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? <laughs> You, you're stupid. <laughs> I don't even like baseball. <laughs> I, I'm not the killer. This goddamn ship of brains has got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make this crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me. Alright, about to begin. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, sure. Tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You will have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. Fair warning, the comic book goes right to left. I did not realize that oh, the first time. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. However, you'll notice that the comic that in the comic there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hit that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun. Don't worry, you got 20 minutes to do this. I think you'll okay. be fine. So... And there are more than just those five. If you scroll up and down, it'll give you other other options. For oh. you can... Okay, because it's like, um, okay. Oh, not, that one wasn't first then? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it won't tell you if you're right until, um... Like, once you put them all in, it'll be like, oh, yeah, here, you can, like, present your final argument, and if it's wrong, then it will stop the little comic book section, and you'll have to pick up from wherever it was wrong. Okay. In the second game, it straight up just tells you if you're right by giving you some extra time, but in this one, it does not. Remember, if you uh, click on... 
it you honestly the, ones? sometimes it's hard to tell what they're actually doing in the images oh, so the question marks that are on each of the things legitimately help like they'll give you a bit more clue to what you're looking for okay i think that one and some of them are just dummy ones like some of them don't okay like that one with the the ball in the hand you'll see that in like later uh, trials okay Drops the knife. That's what that is. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. Can't be that one because she's already in the other room, I see. Oh, did she drop the knife there? Yeah. She's not, she doesn't have a knife. Yeah, she drops the knife before she goes in the bathroom. He has to throw the shirt before the ball. But the incinerator's on in that picture. Oh, he, did, he turns the incinerator on first. That's right. See, I would think you'd do it the other way because then it would the heat would push it out as that. Yeah. Hits that, turns it on. Ah, there we go. I'm thinking. So that would be is when she in the bathroom here? Yeah, yeah she's in the she's bathroom. In the bathroom okay. here. Okay. And he's opening it. Okay. There's the paint roller, turns on the incinerator, balls it up and throws it. Alright. Leaves. I think you got it right, then right click to reenact it. I think we got it right. Find out. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Didn't lay out my reasoning right. I need to rearrange the Huh? I don't see how that one is. It's because like it's hard to tell, but if you look at the, the image just to the left of the question mark and that circle, they're actually the same, so it's a dummy one. Like if you scroll back to that one that you had on there. Oh uh, yeah. Well it put it got put back, but like look for the actual one that you had put there initially. What did I put there? You put the that, one because see he... how that one oh, and that picture yeah. are the same. So it's a dummy. Okay. It's a dummy one. And it will start from here, I right. think. So you don't have to, yeah, so you don't have to sit through all of it. Oh, I guess that's when she decided to go into the bathroom. 
That's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck in here, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace that had ever been there. Especially if you have the only one with red hair in the apartment. Yeah. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator bin, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the Small incinerator ball. switch. Yeah. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible but the killer had the confidence to take <laughs> What did he miss? Yeah. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Probably the only part of the shirt that actually had blood on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Into the fire, burnt away, and fell out of the Retrospect, ceiling. probably would have been better just hiding it under his bed. Yeah. yeah. He was going to go in his bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The killer like, did they notice. search everyone's drawers? No, they, they don't. Yeah, you're better off holding on to it and trying to dispose of it later when you're the trash guy. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that right, Leon? I like Leon. Well, that's a good thing you got a skill. Yeah. <laughs> you even forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon. Do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Damn. Right. So first bullet time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Isn't every bullet battle a time bullet? Oh, battle? this one's way different, trust me. <laughs> Even I have a little bit of difficulty with some of these. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, like Dance. I said, way different. Dance <laughs> battle. trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in hand to in head to head battle. Hand to head battle. <laughs> We like to refer to this as a bullet time battle, aka a BTB. Sorry, BTW. BTB, <laughs> by the way. Well played. During this BTB, you will have you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Oh, great. Yeah, it's a rhythm game. Match button presses with each tempo mark as they move across the screen. Move each 
and reach the center. For what reason? Press the right mouse button to lock on to an opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you've locked on with the left mouse button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Uh, do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep, the, keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get a tempo down in this situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for each button, for hitting each button. So watch out for that. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot it down with the truth bullet, the like any other statement. Uh, refute their statement is fast. If you shoot their statement fast enough, and you'll come out victorious. But just like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero, you'll run out of time. You fail. Well then, good okay. luck, have fun. Before you actually hit the button here, just to explain it slightly better, is you'll still hit a button in time with it. It just depends on what you want to do. So, like, let's say there's two statements, and you want to lock onto them both and shoot them once. When the beat goes by, you'd right click, right click, and then left click. So left okay. click destroys the ones that are already locked onto, but you have to lock onto them first. So right clicking locks onto them, left clicking. Left destroys. clicking will destroy them, and they okay. stay locked on and let because eventually they grow and grow, and then they'll explode and do damage if you leave them on for too long enough. But it always locks onto the one that's closest to damaging you. Okay. You can also use your uh, your space bar to slow things down as well. Okay. I don't know if it allows for it in this first one there, okay. but it might. Because later on, they'll start using their ultimates on you. And there's only one bullet for the final statement in this first one, so all you have to do is aim and fire whenever you get them down to half a heart. Okay. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. They used something of their own to remove the screws? Could it have been? I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! <laughs> As a side note, in the original game, that was going to be idiot, 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 and then in the English translation that was made fan one, it changed it to dumbass, 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 dumbass. <laughs> I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. The moment of truth. There's one person later on that it's funny because it gives you different lines like that, and so they can say, show me evidence, followed by, I won't listen. <laughs> <laughs> show it to me, I won't acknowledge. Leon's been holding his screwdriver in his head this whole trial. <laughs> show me proof. Oh, is it that little, like, pin on his jacket? Oh, yeah. No, it is not the little okay. pin thing on his jacket. That's just a design thing. It's freaking hilarious. It's like, I don't have a script. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he picked the lock. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were inside the room. Only the boys got through to it. So the killer naturally assumed... This school is sexist. Yep. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna start yelling that at people whenever they just start saying dumb things. Mm -hmm. Stupid, 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 stupid. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Huh? And if you say so, 
It's like junk rat. Yeah, a little bit. Let's kill us with D. <laughs> Look at all that money. Hey, it's money? No. But oh, dang it. But this is money. Seventy eight hey. medals. Like I said, this is a great place to make money, is the trials. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Yay! Make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yay. I like Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwa. Well, how do we pronounce that name? Kuwata. Kuwata. Ellipses? Oh. Rip, rip, my dude. Huh? Hey, hold on. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have she a choice. attacked him first, That's to be true. fair. Just kill or be killed. So that why... I killed her first. You were any different. One wrong step, and you'd be in this one. You'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. Just... It was just unlucky. That's all. <sighs> I feel so bad because it was that yeah. he was he didn't go and try and kill someone. It, she set it up. Actually, he, actually, they have a pretty good point here in a second. They have a pretty good point against them. Come on, do you expect me to just accept my death? Wait, but she went into the bathroom. He could have just left. Mm -hmm. Everything's. He had to go back to get the toolkit. Remember? Oh. He could have stopped anytime he wanted to. Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that. Honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong, because if we came up with, <clears throat> because if we came up with, if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. Yeah, you were getting set up. But even if that's true, I can't say she, I can't say she was wrong. After all, that mastermind, it's all because of the video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't ima even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. I can't afford to be stuck in here. I got a life in 1949. I got a girl. Oh, wait, that's that's <laughs> from a movie. Never mind. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them and Sayaka... Four player nap. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Saika, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So, when she said, No matter what happens, please always be here for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I I guess I'll never know, because there's nothing I can do to ask. There's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's it. 
boy howdy, this entertainment industry is sure terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships? She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she's she's descended into pure madness. What, what did you say? I understand, really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that? All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged out at Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched, uh, latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave me would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Ellipses. Damn it! Ah, there was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's, yeah, it. that's it. It was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Mm -hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? Oh, it's right. This is you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you were doing just fine. After she after she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you, you had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. But you chose not to. Is it not because you have an unclouded intent to commit murder? So no, no that's happened. not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Now, interestingly enough, in the manga, it actually portrays it a lot more sadly. He was trying to break into the bathroom to calm her down, and she attacks him again. She still has the knife. Oh. And she attacks him again, so he actually does do it in self-defense, but mm. he's still executed. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your oppressed Saika, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either, because... Yeah, it was really his fault, yeah. if you think about it. Because the one to blame is him. Swa. If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. Piece we should... of shit. <laughs> we, wouldn't... we shouldn't be fighting each other. We shouldn't be fighting against one... We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind. Uh oh! Did you awaken to your senses of just your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that he, there's nothing more there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Okay. Well, anyway, more importantly, no, let's no, hurry up and get no. what everyone's been waiting for—the punishment. Stop No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Fair warning, in some countries, this execution got censored. Really? So you know it's gonna be good. Special punishment for Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. No, no. That was a really good no. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Props to the voice actor for that one. 3D. Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment.
Jesus. This is actually one of the more tame ones, too. <laughs> shot right there is shown in the trailer and if you know Leon's the baseball star yeah. it kind of gives away that it's him yeah it doesn't show it that great in the actual thing there but they intentionally avoid shooting at his head so he can't die immediately so he feels every single shot of it yeah what we saw that was the true face of despair I mean we can call it that what else could we call it? It's stoning, because that's basically what it is. Yeah. That's I mean, It's basically a play on stoning, which is an actual execution, and apparently is very painful. Yeah. Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control. <laughs> What's going on? I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it... <laughs> gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single person of you can get on board with that. Damn you! Man, screw you! Why the heck are you doing all this evil crap to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret... <laughs> dark Awful Secret Society type of guy. Or in this case, Dark Awful Secret Society type of bear. Uh, so why are you putting us... Why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling <laughs> Okay, let's not get too carried away uh, here. Seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. It just don't think... You, you just don't think it's possible. Yeah, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass to the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut free from the outside world. Being trapped in this insane p place? You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What are you trying to say? I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Kills, kills, kills. <sighs> when you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. Bye, Monokuma. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. After he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. <laughs> no one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment... Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? We've got to kill these losers. <laughs> We're making a final two alliance here. She moved in close and whispered in my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool. 
becoming such an easy target like that. Psyche meant to double cross you. That's the fact you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you could know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she would have never left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone, or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Saika and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past the deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. Carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... Ellipses. I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have a pretty good intuition. Mmm, gooey. Well, hot damn. Yeah. So in case you're curious, because it doesn't really specify it, but they do in the manga... The reason that she picked Leon, because, like, why would you pick one of the stronger athletic guys, yeah. is one of the reasons that he wants to become a singer, other than he's interested in it, because keep in mind, she is also a singer, is he yeah. thinks it's going to be really fucking easy, and so she gets pissed off at him for saying that. Because mm. he's like, oh, it's such an easy job, just get up on stage and sing. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to say. Do that next time. Yeah. yeah. So, any predictions for who you think will either be murdered oh, or who the man. murderer will be? Go um, for murder. Murdered first. Murdered? Murdered. 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 Um. I'm thinking. I don't think it'll be Sakura, because I don't see no. who could. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone's dumb enough to try and make <laughs> like, Sakura. Oh, it's like if that never mind, I'll and find like, someone else. <laughs> I don't think Sakura would. She's so, like, level-headed, and, like, even the video, she could even talk about it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think... Like, even Taka couldn't do that. Mr. Ultimate Moral Compass couldn't do that. I'm thinking, maybe not this one, but I'll go ahead and guess for uh, this chapter anyways, that it's gonna be the gambler girl. I think at some point, she's gonna try and kill somebody. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that it's chapter two. I, yeah, because she'd do a gamble on whether or yeah. not she could. That's, that's my guess, and, uh think she's going to try and kill um Kaiba. Oh, uh, Bukura, yeah, Byakuya. I almost said Bukura. <laughs> I'm like, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, never mind. I think the novelist is going to snap. <laughs> <laughs> she's like an inch away from it. <laughs> I think she snapped a long time ago. So it's well, I, I can say between the two of you, one of you is 100% right about something. <laughs> I feel like if I had to just make a wild-ass guess... Yeah, go for it. I would think the novelist would try to kill that swimming girl. Okay. If I had to guess. Alright, well, we'll see. Let's see, one more. Just, just in case. You never know. <laughs> just like my, my old... Uh, Pokemon Crystal file on my Game Boy Color and I just had to save it like four times just to be sure as Yeah, <laughs> I've gotten like I, there's times where I've saved and it hasn't actually saved and I'm like, I know for a fact I went to the menu and saved, so I always double save now. Uh, Alright, let's go find Ray Tarrant and see if Luke is still is still streaming. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I've learned through playing the series that some of my more favorite characters have a bad habit of dying, and they always die at the exact same point. For three games in a row, they've always died at the exact same point. Yeah. Oh my god, man, I love this character, Grumpy <laughs> Well, they're gone. Said. Yeah. And they're gone. I oh. hope they never murder anyone. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say it ain't so. At least they didn't... I, I am appreciative of the fact that it was never, like, someone acting so obviously suspicious that ended up being something. Yeah, that's true. It's like the few characters that are quirky or that seem suspicious are kind of naturally quirky. You know, again, the novelist, I feel like she's just got all kinds of wires I didn't care for it for offense, but for defense, it's really damn good. Yeah. You can even, like, just straight up hold it when the dudes throw the spears, it'll block it. And I don't even think you get, like, a backlash like you do with the shield. That was a really good dodge right then. Oh, wow. 